Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And there are those who have not experienced this. The man in the chair who seems to be channeling. That is to say, he has popped out of his body. He is somewhere else and in comes something that is mysterious. <laughs> and that's the way it's often presented, is it not? And nothing could be further than the truth. But the man is still here. Their ear on this planet, human beings walking the planet, have a divine complement each. This has been known by the ancients, by the moderns. It has developed all the spirituality on the planet. There is an intuitive feeling. That you cannot ignore that you are more than a body. If you took a poll of humanity, you would get an almost 80 percentile agreement that you go someplace after you die. 80 percent. This is your intuition, human being. And this starts to search, does it not, for where you're going. And those who are more intellectual and free thinkers when it comes to spirituality want to know more. They want to know where you came from before you ever got here. And the ones who have figured it out know it's a circle. And in the process of this, you discover that every human being has multiple consciousnesses. The corporeal body, the intelligent body, the higher self, all existing in you. And so what you see here is real. And there is no instrument that is known to humanity that's going to prove it. Instead, there is the discernment engine that occurs in every single human being that can detect old soul, whether this is channeling or whether it is not. And so this is the engine we ask you to discern now. We ask you to look at the situation, old soul. What has brought you here? What, what have you given permission for? What is the intent of the moment? Well, the man in the chair has stepped aside. If he has multiple consciousnesses, it means that he is aware of opening the portal to the higher self and allowing the messages that I have to come through. An agreement before he ever got here that I would fill the empty portions of his chart <laughs> with the love of God. That they would be empty so that there would be no bias, there would be no filter. And so that those in the chair could feel it for what it was and know it's real. When we tell you, you are not here by accident, you're not here to be victimized. And that all the things that have happened to you are part of a master design that you allow to put you in places you need to be. I know the questions in the room because I know who is here. I am familiar with every soul on an intimate level because you are family, old soul. I was with you before you came. I was with you the time before. When we talked about these times and the potentials, when we talked at your birth about what you might go through, and you did. For the friends you've lost and the partners and the children, and for all the things that would bring you to your knees, 
So you might turn inward and look for the power within that doesn't just get you through these things. It expands with them. I know who's here. I know the frustrations in the chair. I'm going to give a channeling later today. I want to tell you what's happening on the planet yet again. I am filled with this for you have passed a marker. A beautiful marker. But when you were born, there was no predestination that you'd ever sit here now. There are potentials the very building you're in would have been gone. Burned long ago with you. That was the potential and some of you know when I speak. Some of you old souls have been through what I will call the decision points of humanity. Where you come to a place where you almost have the ancient knowledge and you simply cannot go further. And you allow a pandemic, a plague to wipe out most of you and you start over. And that has happened. Where the libraries of the planet have been lost, you have no idea what human civilization is. You only know the last section dear human being. Because when you're in survival, you're burning libraries for heat. You only know the last few thousand years. And there was a lot more than that. I'll talk a little bit about that yet tonight. The old souls in the room are here. And you're here for one reason. You're asking, is there something more I should know? And the answer is, oh, yes. And it starts with love yourself. Can you get to a point, a point where you're, you're comfortable with you? Where you're not in distress all the time? What is it that you distress over? Take a look. You're afraid of death. Health issues, relationship issues, work issues, money issues. Do you know what? How much time do you spend looking at it? That's an idol. You're worshiping it. You may, not, you may think that's a funny word. What else are you going to call it? If you ponder it all the time. If it's in front of you all the time. And I'm here to tell you, old soul, you're going to have to put that away. And you're going to have to ponder the beauty in you. The balance that's in you waiting to come out. The health in you. The joy in you. The place where you can sit and say, Whew, It's well with my soul. Not only do I know who I am, I know who I'm going to be. Death has no sting. And in this new energy, you can look us, the other side of the veil, in the eye and say, bring it on. I'm ready to go. And that, my dear human being, is the warrior in you, the light worker in you, that has to come out for the next step to be accomplished. Well, this is when the work begins. We'll tell you a little more about what is happening on the planet. Expanding the knowledge even from the last time we spoke. There is so much here. And right before we close, I want to say something about channeling. There are those who would say, well, you know, it's a new age thing. It's channeling. You didn't really see it much in the old days. <laughs> really. Let me tell you something you don't know. Maybe you should. This is what the ancients did. They knew how.
to move in and out of the conscious body. And if you take a look at the tribes on the plains that even were here, there were those who knew how to move with a wolf, how to see with their eyes and smell with their noses, how to hunt by channeling. There were those who could take on the totems of the animals in order to survive the next season. That's channeling. There were those who could move into the, to the Gaia energy of the earth to find out what the seasons were like and if they were in a sacred area or not. It's not new. This has been available and has been the way of it since humanity began. So do not mystify this into something that is new and odd when it is your lineage and something we invite you to relearn and there are those who will teach it to you <laughs> and one of them is sitting next to me I'll be back and so it is